Have you ever been working on a graphic and in Photoshop, it looks great, but when you go to export it, everything just looks different. Well, this happens particularly often with graphics that use heavy noise. And the answer lies in the way that Photoshop previews your canvas. Let's get into it. Photoshop is built extremely robust to display large pixel dimensions on your screen quickly. And it's pretty incredible, but it's not without flaw. Typically, when you're viewing your whole canvas or your whole design, your zoom level in Photoshop is below 100%. Now, what does that mean? That means that all the pixels on your canvas just cannot fit into the pixel resolution and the size of your monitor, unless you have some sort of freakishly large monitor. So Photoshop has to render a compressed preview of all the layers in your canvas. To do that, it pretty much grids up your whole canvas or puts all the pixels on your canvas into their own little groups. And then it averages those pixels and blends them together to make the preview. And Photoshop does this for optimization purposes and simply because you just can't fit all the pixels that are on your canvas into all the pixels that are available to use on your monitor. That's basically what goes on when your zoom level is below 100%. Now, when your zoom is at 100%, that means that the pixel ratio from your canvas to your physical display is one to one. It's a one to one ratio, meaning every pixel that's on your canvas has a respective pixel that it could fit into on your monitor or display. Now at 100% zoom, you likely can't see your whole design you're viewing you know, a small zoomed in part of it, which is usually why you find yourself with this problem because you're trying to view your design as a whole. And that means viewing it at less than 100% zoom. And when you're doing that, Photoshop is only showing you a compressed preview of your design, which is going to look a lot different when you export it. So you must know if you want to see what your design will truly look like when you export it, you have to be at a zoom level of at least 100 or above. I recommend zooming in more just to see more clearly what's going on with your design. Now, this is mainly a problem when you're using noise, especially when you're using the noise from filter, noise, add noise, which sucks by the way, don't do that. I'm gonna give you a better way at the end of this video. But yeah, so noise or just when dithering an image in general is when you encounter this problem. And that's because noise and similar patterns like halftones can be extremely fine. So when you're zoomed out, Photoshop just can't display each individual pixel of the noise or the pattern. So it averages them out and gives you a preview. Take this noise layer that I'm thresholding for for example, just check out how different it looks at different zoom levels. So this is at 16%. As we go closer and closer, it just looks entirely different each time. That's because all these little pixels here simply don't fit on your screen when you're all the way out here. That's why this just looks almost like a noisy gray, but when you zoom in, it's actually pure black and white. Or check out this even better example within my Vintone Photoshop template. So I've got the half tones going in this template on this image, and you can really see that compression taking place at this zoomed out level that I'm at. You can actually see the grouping of pixels and just how distorted this gets on my screen versus when I zoom in to see what it actually looks like here and the halftones are all normal. And so this might be what I'm seeing on my canvas, but when I export it, I'm actually going to see something like this. So zooming in shows you what your true canvas looks like, but it doesn't necessarily fix the issue. You probably came here because you want your canvas to look how it looks when you're all zoomed out and not how it looks when you export it. In this example where I'm thresholding this image with noise, this is what it looks like on my canvas, but when I actually export this, it's going to look like this. So say I want my final export to look like this, but when I export it, it's looking like this. So if you wanna fix that issue, you just have to use a less fine noise. Or more simply put, just do what Photoshop is doing in the preview and average out those pixels which you could do with just a simple blur. So say if you're using the noise on a gray layer technique, like I am here, so I just have my noise applied to a 50% gray layer, and I have that set to overlay. Now this is a very, very fine noise. It is pixel by pixel. But if I wanted to average that out and get something going sort of like how the preview is when I zoom out, then all I have to do is go up to filter and blur this noise by a little bit. So I go up to filter, blur, Gauge and blur, and just blurring it by a few or even less than one pixels. As you can see, even just at a one pixel blur here, we're averaging out that noise quite a bit. So let's say I turn this to 0.4 or something. Now we're averaging that noise out sort of to where it gets us to that look that we had in the preview when we're zoomed out. So just to show you, when I zoom in here, I'm at 200% zoom. So I'm seeing this fully faithfully. This is what it looks like with that blur applied. And this is what it looks like without that blur applied. Now, when I zoom out, I also have a lot less of a fine noise to worry about. So the preview is a lot more accurate. So if you're thresholding anything and this issue is happening where it looks different upon export or just looks different when you zoom in, the issue is arising at the source of the noise, whether that noise is already applied on the image that you're thresholding or you're applying that noise yourself through something like a gray layer. All you have to do is blur it, just blur it a little bit. 
Really simple solution. Or do what I do and never add the noise from Photoshop's filter noise, add noise, because that noise is very fine. And that's going to be the root of your issue right there. It's just how fine and granular and down to the pixel that noise is. So that's why I only use grain from filter camera raw filter and then go into the grain options and camera raw filter. It's a lot more of a tasteful noise and that way you'll pretty much never run into this issue. But if you do 90% of the time, the solution is just a little blur on the source of that noise or that dither pattern. Or if you can't blur it, like say this issue is happening to you within my Vintone or my Deftone template where the dither pattern or the noise or the halftones is on a pattern fill layer. So you can't actually blur that layer. Just simply turn up the size of the pattern of the dither pattern in that pattern fill layer. So the big solution here is just to blur it or make it bigger. Pretty straightforward. And guys, just as a general rule of thumb, if what you see on your canvas is not what you see upon exporting, just zoom in to 100% zoom level and over and you'll see exactly what's going on and you'll be way more equipped to troubleshoot the issue that you're having. All right, hopefully this helps you out if you had that issue. I got this question a billion times and I finally figured I'd make a video on it. The solution is very easy, but I also want y'all to know why it happens so that you can avoid and prevent this happening in the future with other things and so that you can better troubleshoot issues like this yourself. And once you understand a bit more about how Photoshop works, that becomes a lot easier. So hope this helped you. If it did, leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post videos like this every week to help you become a better designer. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.